so great to speak with you today about your partnership with Fidelity Youth App. How is this new mobile experience empowering teens to manage their money? Well, not too long ago, my daughter came to me and she said, you know, mom, I need a credit card. And I was like, yeah, right. Because in my head, all she's going to do is just spend my money and have no concept of it. Because so much of money for youth these days is digital. And so I think it's kind of in the ether. You know, when I was younger, I was like, you had cash and you saw it dwindle and maybe you took it to a bank, but then you had to take it out of the bank. And now for them, they don't have that same grasp of it because it's not physical. And, but she said to me, mom, places don't take cash anymore. Like there's so many places that are cash free that I can't get food or I can't, and I'm older now. So she's, there's not always a parent to pay for something. And I thought she's actually right. So I started doing the research. And when I, when I discovered the app, I thought, wow, this is really the best of both worlds. You know, it's simple. It's you go to the app store and you download it. And she gets to have you know, accountability and autonomy for her money. At the same time, I get to have parental oversight and see where it's going and see where I need to help. And, you know, again, when I was younger, if I had a question, I had to ask someone. That was the only way I was going to learn. The way kids learn today is they Google it. And so you never know where they're getting their information, if it's accurate. In an app like this, she's learning in a safe environment where I know, and she can choose how much farther she wants to go? Does she want to do the learning modules and then earn more money while she's actually learning? Does she want to start learning how to invest in a safe way? You know, there's no account fees. There's no minimum. You can start them out really small. And when you start their account, Fidelity will put $50 in from them. And so they really start to get to learn that responsibility while having accountability. And why do you think it's important? I know that you're a mom yourself. I wish I'd had something like this when I was younger. Why do you think it's important to have these conversations with your children um, about money, especially at such a young age? I feel like it will help set them up for success in the long run. There's so much that they don't understand. And we try to protect our kids from stuff. But in the end, a lot of times it's a disadvantage. I have a friend who really had never had these conversations, got to college, got a credit card, racked up crazy debt. Her dad came in, fixed it, you know, and then she did it a second time. And her dad was like, but you didn't learn anything. She was like, what do you mean? I just thought you'd pay for it again. And this time he said no. And she was, didn't understand. And it took her well, almost into her thirties to be able to pay off this credit card debt. But really it was just because she hadn't learned. So we decided early with our kids to start discussing, you know, in simple forms, you know, we got the three mates in jars when they were younger and taught them about having one for spend, one for save, one for donating, you know, making sure that people who are less fortunate, you can give to the way you want to give. And then with each conversation grow, my son is really mad that he can't have a phone. He's too young. And he said to me, mom, I have enough money in my piggy bank to buy an iPhone. Like I've saved, I've never spent my, he never spends his money. And I said, you're right. You do. If you would like to buy an iPhone, you can. I said, but I said, who's going to pay the monthly and your phone bill and you know, your data. And I'm sure you want unlimited texting. You probably want 5G. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, well, just because you have a phone doesn't mean you have a phone plan. And all of a sudden I said, let me show you what a phone bill looks like. And I showed him a monthly phone bill and he went, okay, I think I'll wait until, you know, you get me a phone. But now I know he's going to understand monthly what that means, as opposed to just getting him a phone. And, and it's those lessons that they need to learn that set them up for success. Definitely. I think that's such like responsible parenting, um, being able to have those conversations with your kids. Um, speaking of your family, you recently celebrated your 21st anniversary. Congrats on that. That's such a big milestone. Um, what do you think the key is to having such a long lasting relationship? You know, it's putting the work in. It's like anything, you know, a friendship, uh, a work relationship, you know, you have to put work in and you have to be willing to do it. And I, I, you know, I think that's really just the key and communication. And how did you know that Freddie was the one for you? Like when you met him? Oh, I didn't when I first met him. And we were friends for years. It was like, and then one day it was different. And then it just progressed. It just, I think when it feels right, I think, you know, if you're not asking questions, if you don't have doubts, then, you know, it's so true. It's, I know it's a cliche, but when you know, you know, it's, it's accurate. Um, and your son recently had his uh, 11th birthday. What is it like watching your little ones grow up? Um, it seems like it goes by so fast. And how did you all celebrate as a family? Oh, it's awful. I, 
yesterday I had to go to his uh, introduction to like middle school because he'll be in middle school next year. I was like, how is my baby not like, how is he in middle school? It does go very fast. Now I have to ask the last question as it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I know that you're close with Shannon Doherty. Um, have you been in touch with her recently? I feel like her strength and determination um, has been so inspiring to many. She's incredible. She is, when they say a warrior, she is a warrior and she lives every day and she's fighting and, you know, there's ups and downs, right? There are days that are harder than others. And there are some days that are easy, but um, she's, she's doing great. 